Check one, two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Check one, two. It's a hard knock life. I am Paul Banks. And I'm the RZA, a.k.a. Bobby Stills. And you're watching Hard Knock TV. Bong, bong. Oh, I'm not trying to take it slow. Working hard, taking dough. Open up 24. We striving for that goal. I'll stop for nothing. I will play this game. That's so easily started. Not so easily parted. One thing that you guys both uh, have in common is uh, you both have a lot of monikers. Now, who's got the best monikers? I mean, you got like DJ Fancy Pants. Well, I got I took mine because of hip hop. That was uh, that was also why I did my first alter ego. But yeah, I got DJ Fancy Pants, Julian Plenty. Skyscraper is the alter ego to Julian Plenty. Um, okay, that's it. That's it. That's three. Yeah. You, know, you got Paul Banks. Paul Banks. Yeah. Okay. You got Banks and Stills now. That's you yeah. Know, but that's, that's not that's not a moniker. That's, yeah. Okay. How many do you have? I'll, 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 Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know all, all the names that uh that I've embodied over the years or the course of my hip hop journey or music journey. You know what I mean? Can but we do some of them? I can do some of them. I'll give you a couple. Look, you know the RZA. I, that embodies all of it. But of course, I started MCing as Prince Rakim. As far as when I first signed my first record deal, I'm known as the scientist because. You know, when I was in hip hop, growing through the streets of New York, battling MCs, I was known as the sci as the scientist. I had rhymes that describe traveling from a sperm cell, meeting the egg. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, um, of course, Bobby Digital. You know what I mean? That came after the RZA. You know, in the sense of, 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 of the a character I used to express myself and to express the things that I that I was exploiting at the time. Like I'm more of a guy that like have many personalities and I'll name it <laughs> you know what I mean so but my favorite is the Abbott and the reason why is because I know that sometimes you know it takes somebody to be the most sensible or the most knowledgeable person in the in the in the in the, in the cipher and that's what an Abbott duty is to be and so when Wu-Tang blessed me with that title it wasn't a title that I that I took it was a title that was given to me and um that's that's my favorite the, you know, the Abbott. Can you give us a description of, of what your alter egos mean? I mean Julian Plenty goes back to college. Fancy pants, you know. I, I never took myself seriously as a DJ, so that's a goofy name that I won't even go into that one. <laughs> but um Julian Plenty, Julian's my middle name, and Plenty I thought it'd be kinda like a porn name, but then I <laughs> put it I put it with an I. So that it'd be kind of like, well, is he in, like an Italian American, or is it is it a porn name? You know, sort of make it a little confusing. But uh, I mean, it's all ridiculous. But uh, I, it was based on being inspired by like hip hop artists and how many they have. And I was just thinking about there was one example that really blew my mind, which is an MF Doom thing, where there's a and I wish I could remember the song, but it, it might be a Victor Vaughn record. But he's talking about he's using one alter ego to talk about the other yeah, alter yeah. ego in the track. Do you know what I'm talking I, about? I know, I know that song. I don't know, know the name of it, but I know that. I remember he did that. And he's just like critiquing the progression of this other artist. Like it's like an interview or something. Like like an interviewer had called him to ask him to comment on the other artist. And he's just talking about, yeah, he's really coming along. Kind of his wordplay is really mature. And then it's like, this is MF Doom in one character talking about his other character. And I just kind of feel like that sort of freedom, you know, I wanted to fuck around with that have fun with that too because I do believe as an artist like you should be able to have personas you should be able to kind of explore like yeah. put on the fucking cape and inhabit it like another space artistically and I don't think it happens a lot in rock music well Ziggy Stardust that's a pioneer right yeah there. and even and even Garth Brooks end, end up doing it he did but his isn't cited as a great example <laughs> but he did it he right. did um, I mean, I feel like actors get to do it, right? Every movie they play is a different character. Well, that was one of my logics. When I did Bobby Digital, and you know, people really was, I mean, the mic was in my face on that one. Like, why, who, are you know, what is going on? Is it, what's a, who are you? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I remember some of my interviews, I, I had summed up that. I said, it's like Robert De Niro. You know what I mean? He could be the, the dude from Cape Fear who's biting your face. He could be the godfather. You know what I mean? He could be the guy on Midnight Run that's trying to just get the crook there, you know, the taxi driver. It was during that period of time that I really realized the artistry that, was in, that I was embodying 
and then I could just, I might as well identify it, you know? So we did banks and stills. When I chose, you know, stills, I was like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's you know, when you think of Raekwon only built for Cuban links, Bobby Stills, you know what I mean? And we was out to go get a $2.5 million sting on that song. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's the energy, that's the image, that's the persona. I feel like I've evolved to that person now, you know what I mean? That, that quality. And this is, that's why I chose Bobby Stills when I when I um, entered this project, you know what I mean?